Hi folks, so this is our virtual back to school night um, and this is sixth grade science with myself, Ms. Hackworth. Um, so starting off with my personal why, I'm incredibly passionate about science and learning. This is my sixth year teaching here at Sheridan Junior High School. I want to encourage all my students to continue to be curious about the world around them so that they are building the skills that they would need to tackle new, new problems, whether it's in science or beyond, and just answer questions they have about the world or around them. And... So a little bit more about me, I'm originally from Washington State. Um, I studied biology at Western Washington University. And then after working for a few years for the Bureau of Land Management and Forest Service, I decided to go back to school. And actually, um, I worked at Casper Mountain Science School, so that kind of led me in the direction of education. I did my graduate degree uh, spending one year at Teton Science Schools and one year at University of Wyoming. And um, in my free time, I like to spend a lot of time outside, whether it's rock climbing or cross country skiing. So a little bit about me. This is what our year looks like in sixth grade science. So we do a little bit of all the science, we call it the building blocks. So we'll be starting the year in physics, and then we move into life science, astronomy. We finish the whole spring in earth science. And you can glance through, here are some of the questions that we'll be trying to answer that are related to real world problems um, or things that we're going to try to figure out. So for example, this fall, um, we'll be building models of roller coasters and thinking about where, where the roller coaster has different types of energy. And then we'll also be creating um, a model showing cr how craters on the moon form in order to investigate um, and add a little bit more detail to it our understanding of energy um, with, with mass and, and speed. So you can pause and glance through, um, but here are some of them. One that we're excited to try that's new this year is how can the body heal itself? So when it's injured, we'll be thinking about that. Um, and uh, if you have any questions on these, feel free to reach out to me. Just a quick announcement uh, with Chromebooks. I know that you've probably heard this already, but making sure that your kiddos have a good place to charge Chromebooks. Um, I know I've heard some from some families, they have a charging station set up in their kitchen or in a living room area so that um, they're not worried about their kids getting on Chromebooks after, after hours in their bedrooms, um, but making sure they have a, a reliable place to charge those. And then we're graded on the 4321 proficiency scales, which should look very similar to elementary school. Um, just so you know, it is 100% based off assessments. Students can always, if they're concerned about a score they've earned, they can always come in and work with me and redo an assessment if, if they feel like um, the score didn't reflect their learning. And you will see them reported out in Infinite Campus according to these four standards. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. The best way to get a hold of me is by email. Um, and can I move my, yeah, okay. So by emailing me, which is right here, you can also reach me by phone and my phone extension is here. Um, and just leave a message in case I miss you so that I can call you back. And I think we'll end there. Please reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks so much.